Hello, here we are, Mr. Who Views. And I have you in Digimon Cross Wars or Digimon Fusion in the English dub. And this is the last uh, Digimon series to be dubbed in English. I'm guessing because it didn't do that well overseas or something, but I'm just guessing here and then um, I would have sold on the Nickelodeon, but then it didn't re uh, so like the the, uh, the episodes after the first one that frequently then moved it to Nicktoons. But oh. anyway, the pro protagonist or Gogglehead in this is named uh, Taiki, no, uh, Taiki, Ta Taiki, sorry, or in English, it's uh, Mikey, and he's always played the same guy. Uh, Voices is a Kirito and SAO and the older Matt in the uh, Digimon movie uh, Last Evolution's Kizuna. And unlike uh, the, some of the other Digimon series, the, ki the kids are called uh, generals and they don't just get one Digimon partner, they get like a whole army. And. Uh, their uh, device is called a, a, a fusion loader. And unlike, unlike some of the other series, they don't really explain uh, how the characters uh, get it. Like uh, in the original this one series, it's, it's said that they're either created by people in the digital world or the Digimon uh, sovereigns or tamers. They actually created Thanks to their imagination and the blue card. In Frontier saying that that the the reason the kids had their uh their devices was probably because of the power in the Dizzle War or something, but hmm. And yeah, Mikey is a bit of a okay character. But he's a bit of a Gary Sue. Just one the Help out people because uh, he can't really back away or run away from uh, someone in need. And sometimes people are the kind of make fun of his uh, of him saying that he can't give up on someone. So he says that a lot. And he has these two friends named uh, Jeremy and Angie. Jeremy is okay to the bit. Uh, wacky and go with a, 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 a kendo sword. Um, voiced by the guy that's in nearly every version of Digimon show. Mm -hmm. And Andy is kind of a, the token girl a character and the, kind of a, like a love interest for Mikey. And, uh, the differences between uh, this uh, version of Digimon and the other series, there are different uh, zones that uh, the humans have to go to in order to get uh, this uh, thing called a Cold Crown, which makes them the ruler of that zone. Oh yeah, and one of uh, Mikey's partners, or just uh, his main partner, is named uh, Shoutmon. And he wants to be the new uh, king of the Dizzle World. And the, their team is called the Fusion Fires or the Cross Hearts in, this, in uh, the Japanese version. And if I can say this uh, evil uh, group called uh, the Bogra Army led by Bogramon. And there are some other uh, villains in this like uh, Leidamon or Axe Nightmon. Um, this was the first, or for, for a few, few, few episodes of the first scene, uh, Leidemon seems to be the main antagonist. And you can tell by the design of Digimon, there are supposed to be toys, and there's like screws in that, on Stoutmon, and some other stuff on the, the Dovermon, I think. The the wolf that the Cutemon is uh, always with. I'm not the only one uh, 
the room on. And there's another human, some other human characters, and it's like uh, Christopher, who uh, is the leader of another uh, team called Blue Flare. I don't know, it has a different name in the uh, Japanese version. And he basically wants to uh, control this world to prove that he's the strongest, and he has to relearn in the first two seasons that teamwork. Is the way to win. Yeah. And you think you thought Ben 10 was the only one that had to read on that. Mm. And they go more into his reasons being strong in the uh, second season. Apparently, uh, his dad was a, was a, and sorry, it was a big company and he's trying to make a uh, Christopher strong to. to before he uh, inherits it. Uh, when that got sick, uh, some of the people in his company that I thought of, had his friends that he took uh, the company and the money away from Christopher and his mom, or not yeah, Christopher and his mom, and that's why he didn't really uh, trust the, the friend, they yeah, like friends and that. And yeah, I could tell Christopher does have some good, uh, this one on his team, like a blue version. Of a Greymon and a male version called a male Burdramon. It does cool. I mean, Dizzy Shoes or Cross Shoes or Cross Set. Yeah, I think there's a Cross Shoes or Cross Evolution into a metal Greymon. Um. Yeah, for some reason. And Shoutmon and the uh, Metal Greymon did evolve their boat in the like, gold dizzy zoid. But, I don't know. And the other human character in the first season is named uh, Nene, voiced by the same uh, actress that voiced the Rika in Tamers, uh, did, was the uh, narrator in Digimon Frontier, and I forgot to mention that she also did a uh, Christy. In Digimon uh, Data Squad. And at first, she was kind of a mysterious character, and her first, first time she showed up, she was just in giving them Mikey uh, a tutorial of uh, what the what the missing same is and what a coal crown is and that. Um, then eventually, uh, it's revealed that she's actually working for uh, Axe Mightmon, for, for, and turns out uh, his team is. Called the Team Midnight. And that's her other act. My mom, that's the uh, Black Moon, or using a Nene, or just getting her to do what he wants since he, he has a, her brother Yuen. And uh, the did on her team are pretty good as well with the Sparrowmon and the uh, Montermon, basically. Uh, Living TVs with arms, legs, and that spy on people. Yeah. And I think she is more interested in the first season than in the second. Like after Ed says he joins the Fusion Fighters, she didn't really like a, have any like big moments. And in the second season, is just about her getting her brother back after finding out the ask my mom that's using him saying telling telling you and that the digital world is a game and nobody really gets hurt. And uh there's a mo sort of a good season one and this is like a popular season one this as well, like uh Reefmon who after becomes uh Biel like a different version of Bielzamon. In when uh, it or he or it uh, died or something, and uh, I think the second scene is a bit better since uh, when uh, uh, Bob Marcy got all the digital or all the uh, coal crowns, as he combined them and that, and sent the uh, Mikey and his friends back to Earth. And when Nessie came back to the world, there wasn't any zones or. Lands and 
the Bulgar army has dark generals now that actually have their, their own uh, darkness loader. Um, turns out Ewan has the original darkness loader, but it sounds in a flashback that, or just in the first season, that uh, actually not the name it to uh, actually make the darkness loader, but it sounds in the flashback when uh, Ewan was first taken by Axe Nightmon that he was giving them the darkness loader. I think if he did say talk you in a first and then uh so name me the Dark Lord saying if you help me make this to have your brother back or something. I don't know. And it's one of the lands were uh, pretty inter pretty interesting like uh the Dragonland or uh uh the Darkness Island what what not that time, not that time, that's sweet, but the one with the, the Neo, Neo uh, my oldest mom in it. That's kind of good. And Goldan, Goldan was there, good as well. And Brightland looked kind of cool. And some of the Dark Generals were going to give um, that a pirate one. The uh, Woodmon seems, seems kind of good and grab them on. And like I said, Neil and uh, my oldest mom does look great. And apparently, uh, the digital versions of Selon and Mel Greymon can fuse together, but. Hmm. And eventually, uh, uh, the fusion fires are di uh, diffusing the fires. Uh, Frontier or whatever, we are going to bind the seven or Dismon to make a very powerful one. And does the storyline in uh, the underworld is uh, pretty interesting or does that very good as well with the uh, Mikey trying to get a uh, Yoon to find out or to, to realize that the Dismon isn't really a game and when his when Yoon's partner actually dies, he just, just uh, starts to like, Regret every does. I think Mikey's line is right when he's as he's fighting a Yoon when he says that he's in a bad case. It's just uh, too sensitive because he doesn't really like to hurt the people on that. He just thinks it's a game. And we eventually the Pokemon is defeated. By the inhabitants of this world giving their power to uh, shout mom. And it seems like this mom and humans are uh, going their own way. Until the declares of the show do that, did a bit of a sequel to a series called uh, Cross Wars Hunters Still Not Too Time. Yeah, Mikey and you are a bit older and they're just that. Uh, New character who says he wants to be even better than Mikey, even though he's a bit of a Gary Sue. And have what's uh, all of the the uh, crossword hunters? The uh, here's okay, but the best bit has to be when there's an episode where all the past characters from the past. Uh, did did one show actually show up to take down a venom my old mom? And it's way better than the legendary battle in Power Rangers uh Super Mega Force. This is more of a legendary battle than, than that. Uh, apparently it's a new character and his egg uh, gum drama on it that set the final blow. Uh, I have to say, I don't know if I ever liked the, the new uh, character. It seems like he's hopped up on sugar most of the time. I think I prefer Marcus and Davis over him, but that's my opinion. I read some, some more uh, other episodes to get my full opinion, but whatever. 
mm, I think Disney Children is uh, okay, and I can understand why they probably didn't want, didn't want to dub any, any, any more of the shows and start focusing on the movies. But, what can you do? And don't you have, like, a character change with uh, Mikey when he has to realize he has to destroy uh, one of the good Dark Generals in in his own order to get to uh, Bogdermon? Well, I think his mom was kind of a good uh, character. Yes, he seemed goofy, but he he uh, just want he just want to put a king to protect uh, his his friends and the this whole world. And he does believe that the strong so protect the weak and that. So, hmm. Um, does some other good characters, and eventually in the second season, that uh, Angie and uh, Jeremy do uh, come back, and in the sequel, they do get their own uh, fusion loaders, like all the other. People that watched uh, this this uh, this one, so I just wonder why didn't get season orders in the first season. Mm. And I just wonder how uh, Nene Nene became an idol in the sequel se season or third season, whatever. But mm. um, probably not one of my favorite seasons, but I think it's close. Has some uh, good story days in it, and it there was episode they show why uh, Mikey kind of uh, is like just uh, really obsessed with the same people, or just uh, being ever someone who uh, needs it, whatever. But you know, I just wonder what well, well, like in the Japanese version, I really watched uh, any uh, episodes of them on crosswords in Japanese. Anyway, uh, in the next time, I'll see you guys later.